Ah, we're back. Um, I thought I'd do my little uh, crock pot recipe that I found off uh, YouTube. Uh, Kelly's Corner actually did this, and that's why I'm doing her recipe. Going by her recipe. If I can figure it out, I'll put the video down below where she does it. If I can't, I'll put in the description of her name and all that stuff. So, I forgot the most important part. <laughs> okay. She takes one pound of cube steak. I put this over, it did leak out some. Ooh, ew, 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 ew. Okay. I'm not a very big meat person. Uh, wash my hands. I like meat, but I don't like touching other things without washing my hands with the meat. So you take one pound of cube steak, two tablespoons, I think she said. Yeah, tablespoons of uh, gravy, brown gravy, or one packet of brown gravy. She sprinkles in some minced onion. She uses the cream of mushroom can. I'm gonna try it with cream of chicken and see what that tastes like. And then salt, 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 and pepper. Ooh, we need some pepper. So I've got my little scale here. If you can see it. Bring it over here where I can get to it. Let me open my stuff up first. Which I will end up uh, washing my hands after touching the meat, but still, I want to get it all. Yeah, I need some pepper. I'm gonna get it all open. So, I'm gonna use my scale here. Uh, guess I'll use a knife. I need to use a knife. I'm gonna have to wipe this off over here. Because this, my cube steak that I've got here is 2.4 pounds. So I just need a pound of it is what I need. So I'm gonna weigh out my scale I got for Christmas and I ain't never had a chance to to weigh it out, to use it yet. So good thing to use it now. That's four pounds. Ain't no way. Oh no, it ain't, that's four ounces. Woo, Sam, you're stupid. Don't come for me, guys. Don't come for me. Take me too much. That's one, two, three, four. So, yeah, that's about right. So, what I'm going to do is take it. You just dump it right into the thing. Wash my hands. Wash my hands. Because we don't do cross contamination or anything here because meat's nasty. And I'll end up bleaching the spot over here with this. Uh, or sanitizing it, whatever you want to say, last saw in it with this meat sitting there after I can take care of it. Then she puts in she drizzles on the minced onions. She does about I don't think she really says with the minced onions. I don't think so. I think she just sprinkles them on there. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use all of it. We'll put it all in there. We can have it twice. Because tomorrow, my thing, I just have pork chops. So, we're going to have this twice. So, hold on a second. I couldn't remember if we needed one can or two cans. Michael's like, why don't you just go ahead and get two cans? So, I got two cans. I got two bags of gravy, too. So, <laughs> We're good with that. Let me get some other gravy down here now. Yep. <laughs> okay, we're gonna open it up. Get that meat. I was trying to do how she done it, so yeah. We're gonna get that meat in here. But she calls for one pound. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all in there. It ain't no use me putting it back in there and fixing it again tomorrow. Just go ahead and do it. That way. Oh, I got to 
scratch out too. But I gotta use my scales, so I'm good with that. I ain't gotta use them for that up for Christmas. <sighs> I'm gonna put a little bit more of its onion in that, a little bit more salt. I can in here now. Just a little bit more. So, do -do 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 -do. okay. A little bit more salt. Now, let's do some pepper. I need to get some pepper. Need to get some pepper. Okay, then she takes the brown gravy and just put it in there. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring, move this over here so I can bring the crock pot closer to me so I can get this cream of chicken out. I'm hoping this tastes good with cream of chicken. I don't know if it will or not. But I'm hoping it will because I'm okay with using cream of mushroom, but Michael's not. But I think he's afraid it's going to taste like a, like a cream of, <laughs> it's going to have mushrooms in it is what I think he's afraid of. So you just get your meat really covered with that. She says you can do, if you do the one, the one pound, do it uh, for fast, do it on low for four to six hours. Wait a minute. Yeah. If you want to do it fast, you do it on high for two to four hours. But if you want to cook it slow, you do four to six hours. I'm going to do the low for four to six hours, to six hours, and I'll check it. And uh, it is 12 of 9, 12, 6, 6 of 9 should be done. And that's about time Michael will be home. So that's what it looks like in there. I ain't got a big tripod. I need to get me a big tripod. I don't have a big tripod. But um, yeah. I, uh, sorry. I hope this turns out good. If not, I'll have to try to sneak the cream of mushroom in the house and do it and not tell Michael that it's in there. There's a cream of mushroom in the house so Michael won't know what's in there. I need to organize this house. So I need to write down, what was it? Pepper. I need to write down pepper. Peppa, baby, Peppa. Uh, yeah, so that's a little cook with me. I got some more off of YouTube, and I got easy enchiladas that I want to try. Now, that sounds really good. So, yeah, we'll see about that. And then I might do a get unready with me, throw it in here, a nighttime routine type thing. I don't know where I don't have, I don't know how my, see there's a video I was watching to make sure I did it right. Don't know how my AirPods would do with me doing a voiceover. I'll have to experiment with that. So I don't know if I'll wait and do another video and not put that in here of the, uh, the nighttime routine. I don't know. I'm a little chicken to try it, so I don't know if I'll go ahead and do it now and put it in this one, or if I will do that. I don't know. I might have to do a separate one because my camera, if I'm using my phone, it don't have very much storage on it. I have a bunch of pictures of my little nephew. So, yeah. I would like to use his computer to do videos on that way I can use my camera again because it's really just sitting here doing going to waste my flip screen Sony I need to see if I can find me a bigger one because that'd be awesome <laughs> okay bye hi 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 I don't know what I'm saying I'm just laying here rock pot still going I flipped them 
myself. I went in there and looked at him and I was like, I better flip these. So I flipped it. Um, I wanted to let you know my hair is drying. That's why in the other film, in the other video, it looks crazy and it looks crazy here because I washed it this morning at four o'clock this morning. So yeah, but I wanted to let you all know that I, we got the, uh, cannot talk today. We got the free trial of Audible last night because Michael, where he drives all the time, he's like, I'm tired of listening to music. I was listening to a podcast. I think I want to try Audible. Well, needless to say, we got it. The free trial. And we both like it. We both like it. I got the book. We got two credits last night for signing up with Amazon Prime. Uh, I got the book because I asked my cousin because I, I can't find any books that like intrigues me right now for some reason. But this book, oh my goodness, this book intrigues me so much. I am so, I want to listen to it. But I'm pacing myself because you only get one credit a month. With the free trial. With the free trial. So next month when we get the credit. Unless he buys a book. I'm going to let him have the credit. Uh, but I am listening to. The Lovely Bones. By Alice Seabold. Is that how you say it? That's what my cousin told me to. That she liked. So I got it. So I'm trying it. And so far I'm on chapter 2. And I am loving it. I'll put a picture here of it. Um, but a lot of people said on the Audible app, they said that they did not like the author because Alice Seabold, Seabold, Seabold is actually narrating it herself. And they didn't like it because she was narrating it. They said she did not do a good job. She needed to let somebody else do it. My personal opinion, I think she is doing an amazing job with it. But this is my first time listening to an Audible. I never would get Audible before because I was afraid I wouldn't like listening to it. But I can actually see it. Sounds weird. But I can put myself in that situation while she's telling the story. I can see it. And I'm comprehending it more. My mind is quiet. Because when I read a book... I don't really comprehend it as much because my mind's going, oh, you could be doing this. You should be doing that. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. But so far, the first two chapters that I read of this or heard, was listening to through this Audible app. Oh, my goodness. I, excuse me. I have loved it so far. And it has quite, my mind has been quiet because I'm concentrating on what she's saying and Listening to the story, so we well, see it again. There's what it looks like. Steam, go away. The sauce taste is pretty good, so we'll see. I know why my cooker looks weird. And then I fixed some mashed potatoes to go with it, and that's all I'm going to do. So I will see you all sometime, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Sometime. Bye.